a visit billed as peace mission. Just days into taking on the rotating presidency of the Council of the European Union, Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban has been discussing the conflict in Ukraine with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Many steps are needed to bring us closer to ending the war, but we managed to take the first important step to restore dialogue. But European leaders are unhappy about Orban's visit to Moscow. President of the European Commission Ursula von der Leyen expressed her disapproval on X, formerly Twitter, stating, Appeasement will not stop Putin. Only unity and determination will pave the path to a comprehensive, just and lasting peace in Ukraine. One of the best-known historical examples of appeasement is British foreign policy towards Nazi Germany in the 1930s, negotiating with Adolf Hitler in a bid to stop World War II, a controversial strategy which didn't achieve its aims. Critics have accused Hungary of prioritizing its own interests above the EU's. 80% of Hungary's natural gas and 65% of its oil come from Russia. Orban has been a vocal critic of Western support for Ukraine. Since Russia's invasion more than two years ago, Orban has repeatedly blocked and delayed EU efforts to support Ukraine and sanction Moscow. Before Moscow, Orban visited Kyiv. There, he suggested a quick ceasefire could be used to speed up peace negotiations, which drew strong opposition from EU officials, who reaffirmed their support for Ukraine. President Volodymyr Zelensky did not comment publicly. Last month, Putin said Russia would end its special military operation if Ukraine agreed to drop its NATO ambitions, withdraw its troops from Russian-occupied territory. The man Zelensky dismissed as tantamount to surrender. Axel Zaimovich, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.